Welcome to how to make the home company functional web shooter by Hero Tech. This tutorial is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is a beautifully intuitive platform to build your online presence. We personally use Squarespace to power our website and online business. More on that later. So what you got here, this is your bottom piece. This is the main body, your barrel, cartridge, cover, load stick, projectile, springs, magnet, uh, lock block, script, and that's it for the components. What else you have here? Web string. All the links will be in the description, so feel free to check those out, as well as the 3D print files and the 3D design files if you want to modify them yourself. What you're gonna need some basic tools like scissors, pliers, files, and super glue. And blue tack. Alright. Alright, let's make the main body. So first we gotta take off all the supports and stuff. It's gonna take a while, so let's do it from the bottom as well. Alright, it's time to sign these down. Let's make it actually comfortable and viable for for use. Some sandpaper. Now that we filed and taken away the supports, we can get to the nitty gritty of the name, main body. So the first thing to do with the main body is you want to attach the internal spring. So I can do that. Just make sure it's clear, the inside is clear of dust or any other foreign particles. I'm just going to take your super glue. And I'm going to carefully apply it to the end. Uh, just like that. What you're going to do, slot it in. Mm. Just like that, you got to slot it in to the barrel. And press it in. Hold it there for a couple seconds to set the super glue. What you can do on the other side, you can apply a slight, slight, slight layer of super glue as well. Just to really fill in the seal, cement that pod. So while we wait for that super glue to dry, put it to the side for now. And so for the lock block, the internal locking mechanism is pretty simple. So you need the three parts. The lock block itself, small spring, and nylon thread. What you do is you take the nylon thread here, slot it through each side. In the end, what you're gonna look like is this. Then you take both of those sides and slot them through this spring. Got there. Is your lock lock assembly done and done? Now, what we can do is we can make the projectile. Off the printer, the projectile will be rough, of course, so like with the rest of the 3D printed parts, we go ahead and file it away. Alright, so projectile has been sanded, filed. I'm just gonna take this some. Um, Blue tack. So you're gonna take a little, little bit of blue tack. Probably a little less than that. Like that much is good. And stuff it. Stuff it into your projectile. What you're gonna do? Stuff the magnet inside, forming the seal. Push it all the way until blue tack's coming out. Yep, yeah, and that should be enough to get your magnet to stick. Now let's get to the web string. <clears throat> so unspool enough of your web string. What you need to do is tie uh, non-slip loop knot. It's called a cran knot. I think that's how I pronounce it. A cran knot is definitely wrong. Or whatever. The cran knot at the end of it. So there's a lot of nice tutorials on how to tie a non-slip loop knot online. 
I'll link them below. Alright. So, there's your non slip knot, loop knot. And you can cut off the excess. And yeah, what you're gonna get is your load stick and your cover. Cover slots right in there. And you're gonna wanna wrap this around. So hook it here first. And wrap it around. Like so. Alright. You get your cartridge. Stuff that in. And stuff that in. Then pull it out. And push it in. Now what you have is the loaded web cartridge. Finally, let's get back to the main body. See the glue is bound to be dry by now, as dry as it's gonna get. So, what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your two ends of the nylon line and your, and slot it through, see that hole? Slot both, both ends through that hole. All right, just like that. Now, final step for this assembly is you're going to need the barrel. So before inputting the barrel, so your basic check, you want to make sure everything is smooth for the projectile delivery. So just go ahead. So once this is completely sanded away, only one thing left to do. Again, you take your super glue, you dab some side here this area and the other side here this area line it up insert it all the way in and press down now push it back and you have to hold this you'll have to hold it down for about 20 seconds 30 seconds just to make sure the super glue really makes a nice bond you're gonna want to keep this pressed down for a while now, but since that's essentially done, you can cap the super glue. And after that, once it's dry, what you have is a functional web shooter. So the way the nylon trigger works is that if you pull the nylon trigger, it'll actually release the projectile once it's loaded. So you use this scrimp to actually adjust the length of your nylon trigger to your hand. All right, so if you want to test it, let you wear your web shooter, pull this up a little bit. You slot it there. You take your top half and you slot it in and over. It takes a bit of practice and it's not exactly the most wieldy uh, method of putting on a web shooter, but it works for now before we improve, you know, on the next iteration. You take projectile, load it in through the front, and it's locked. Then you take your cartridge, pull it out. You'll notice the hook is right there. Take that loop and hook it on the inside of the projectile, like so. Go ahead and pull to lock it inside. And from there, you can just slide your cartridge in normally, just like that. So, just like that, you're all ready to fire. Your functional web shooter. Fire. And your web will spool out. Thanks guys for tuning in. I'm gonna call it a night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Big thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to build a powerful online brand. Everything from buying a domain to setting up the actual website is extremely easy with no coding experience required. The templates are absolutely gorgeous and the user interface and help center will get you up and going in no time. We paid every cent of our Squarespace membership out of our own pockets and we couldn't be happier. If you want to see an example of what beautiful websites you can make with Squarespace, check out our own website at herotech.io. For a free trial, head to Squarespace via the link in the description and get 10% off when you sign up using my code below.